do not know if the world has lied. I have lied. I do not know if the world has conspired against love. I have conspired against love. The atmosphere of torture is no comfort. I have tortured. Even without the mushroom cloud still, I would have eaten. Listen, I would have done the same thing even if there were no death.
have the lovers. They are nameless. Their history is only for each other. You have the room, the bed, the windows. Pretend it is a ritual. Unfurl the bed. Bury the lovers. Blacken the windows. Let them live in that house for a generation or two. No one dares disturb them. Visitors in the corridor tiptoe past the long closed door. They listen for sound, for moan, for song. Nothing is heard, not even breathing. You know they are not dead. You can feel the presence of their intense love. Your children go up, they leave you. They become soldiers and riders. Your mate dies after life of service. Who knows you? Who remembers you? But in your house, a ritual is in progress. It is not finished. It needs more people. One day, the door is opened to the lover's chamber. The room has become a dense garden, full of colors, smells, sounds you've never known. The bed is smooth as a wave of sunlight. In the midst of the garden, it stands alone. In the bed, the lover, slowly and deliberately. Their eyes are closed as tightly as if heavy coins of flesh lay on them. Their lips are bruised with new and old bruises. Her hair and his beard are hopelessly tangled. When he puts his mouth against her shoulder, she is uncertain whether her shoulder has given or received the kiss. All her flesh is like a mouth. He carries his fingers along her waist and feels his own waist caress. Carefully peel away the sheets from the slow-moving body. If your eyes are filled with tears, you barely make out the lover. As you undress, you sing out in your voice as magnificent because now you believe it is the first human voice heard in that room. The garments you let fall go into vines. You climb into bed and recover the flesh. You close your eyes and allow them to be so shut. You create an embrace and fall into it. There is only one moment of pain or doubt as you wonder how many multitudes are lying beside your body but a mouth kisses in the hand to the moment away.
two went to sleep almost every night. One dreamed of mud, one dreamed of Asia. Visiting the Zeppelin, visiting the Jinsky. Two went to sleep, one dreamed of ribs, one dreamed of senators. Two went to sleep, two travelers, the long marriage in the dark. The sleep was old, the travelers were old. One dreamed of oranges, one dreamed of Carthage. Two friends asleep, years locked in travel. Good night, my darling, as the dreams wave goodbye. One traveled lightly, one walked through water. Visiting a chess game, visiting a booth, always returning to wait out the day. One carried matches, one climbed the beehive, one sold an earphone, one shot a German. Two went to sleep, every sleep went together, wandering away from an operating table. One dreamed of grass, one dreamed of spokes, one bargained nicely, one was a snowman. One counted medicine, one tasted pencils, one was a child, one was a traitor, visiting heavy industry, visiting the family. Two went to sleep, none could foretell. One went with baskets, one took a ledger, one night happy, one night in terror. Love could not find them, fear could not be them. They went unconnected, they never knew where, always returning to wait out the day. Parting with kissing, parting with yarn, visiting death till they wore out their welcome, visiting death till the white disguise worked.